My name is Derek Salmon, and I love fish, all different kinds, big and small. I'm on a quest to learn about every species of fish that lives in the state of Wisconsin. So come join me on Badgerland Fishes. Hey everyone, I'm at a stream in Waukesha County, and I'm going to take you fishing with me today. This stream goes under this bridge, and there seems to be a little bit of deeper water right before it goes under with some shiners and hopefully some sunfish species. So we're going to go after the sunfish, uh, hopefully get some different varieties, uh, green, uh, some pumpkin seeds, things like that. So let's go. For this trip, I'm equipped with two different cameras, my main set up on the shore facing the river, and a small GoPro for underwater shots. I'm fishing just using a split shot sinker, a medium sized hook, and a small piece of night crawler. It didn't take long for the fish to start biting, but it did take a little bit for me to actually hook one. Eventually, I was able to hook into our first fish of the day and one of the most colorful species in Wisconsin. Nice. Looks like a pumpkin seed. The pumpkin seed sunfish is common throughout Wisconsin and can be identified by its colorful body, which consists of green, yellow, orange, red, and blue with many brown and orange spots. The ear flap has a red spot at the rear edge, but the flap is much shorter than that of the northern sunfish. Adults are normally 5 to 8 inches long, but can grow up to 10 inches long. Spawning occurs in May or June and begins with the male digging a nest in shallow water. Males guard the nest until the eggs hatch. The female can lay between 1,600 and 2,900 eggs, and multiple females may lay eggs in the same nest. Pumpkin seeds are normally one of the first sunfish species to spawn in the spring. They prefer to live in clear, still waters with lots of vegetation and feed on insects, snails, and small fish. It's important to get water on your hands before you deal with these guys because they have a slime coating. You don't want to hurt them. Off he goes, first fish of the day. Big common shiner. Check it out. Although not one of our target sunfish, the common shiner was a nice add for our second species of the day. Him. He's just got that black ear spot, general green color. Sometimes you can see some barring they have as well. The one species that I expect to be here that I haven't seen yet is the green sunfish, so that's our target for now. The rock bass is a member of the sunfish family and is a deep-bodied fish that can be found throughout Wisconsin. Their color is variable and can change quickly to blend in with their environment. This can range from brown to olive colored with a silver or white stomach. Their mouth is large and their eyes are red with a dark teardrop shape underneath. They are most similar to the warmouth bass which lacks the teardrop marking under the eye and has three anal spines compared to the six found on the rock bass. Adult rock bass vary in size from 7 to 10 inches long, but have been known to reach up to 15 inches in length. They are nest builders and often build nests on gravel near a large boulder. Females lay up to 10,000 eggs, and multiple females normally lay eggs in the same nest. Males guard the site and fan the eggs until they hatch 3 to 4 days later. It takes about 3 years for a rock bass to reach maturity. They prefer clear streams with rocky bottoms and are often found around structures such as boulders, roots, and tree branches. They feed primarily on insects, crayfish, and other small fish.
keep getting caught up on the leaves, so I'm gonna throw on a bobber, see if that does anything. Clean this off a little bit. After putting the bobber on, I caught several more fish, but there was no sign of a green sunfish. Another Rocco. Another Rocco. Bluegill. At least we're catching stuff. And another rock bass. Ooh. This Russ rock bass has got a little gash out of his side. Could be a predator wound. After many more casts, I was elated to finally find the species we were looking for. Yes, finally, a green sunfish. The green sunfish can be found throughout most of Wisconsin except for a small portion of the state up north. They are tolerant of turbid and poor water conditions and are very aggressive. As a result, they can easily become overcrowded in small bodies of water and are often the only sunfish species found in very muddy waters. Their body shape is more elongated than other sunfish and they have a large mouth that extends to the middle of their eye. All of their fins except their pectorals are outlined in white, orange, or yellow. Their body is olive green with electric blue lines near the face and blue speckles on the body with a black ear flap that sometimes contains a thin orange or white portion. Sometimes they also have a black spot on the dorsal fin where the anal fin attaches to the body. Adults are typically 3 to 7 inches long, but they can grow up to 10 inches in length. Green sunfish begin spawning from mid-May to August, and females lay between 2,000 to 26,000 eggs. Males guard the nest for three to five days until the eggs hatch. Afterwards, they will attempt to attract a new female to breed with. The nests are made in shallow water near the shore, and males can sometimes become trapped in these nests if water levels drop. They feed on insects, snails, crayfish, and small fish. All right, we got them. All in all, the sunfish family encompasses a wide variety of different species of fish that are all unique and are often plentiful in Wisconsin. They are valued not only for their role in sport fishing, but also for their intriguing colors and feisty attitude. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Badgerland Fishes. Fisher. Down this way.